all of us have different views of what is happiness. Different people perceive happiness in different ways. You notice that for the Chinese, particularly, but for all of us, in fact, all our greetings, elaboration of our wishes for someone during the new year, mostly is concerned with security. We cannot have happiness without security. For some, security mostly in this life. For others, security in this life and hereafter. Otherwise, there is no way for us to live a happy life. To be worried about our future is something in it in us. Because we all want to live. We all want to be happy. And therefore, because we start worrying, then whatever happiness we have is taken away. But my dear brothers and sisters, the truth is that nothing is predictable in this life. While it is important for us, and there is nothing wrong, certainly, to ask for material, physical security, even if we have all these, it does not mean that our life will be made more secured. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to go beyond simply asking for physical, material security. Happiness in life is more than satisfying our bodies, all our needs. Of course, that is basic. But more than that, we have a soul. We have a heart. Happiness has to do with not just physical, material security. It has to do with relationships, intimacy, being loved, being accepted, being in, in union with our fellow men and in union with God. Otherwise, you can have all that you want and yet you will not find happiness. Happiness comes about when we live the life of the kingdom, which is one of righteousness. Righteousness is not to be translated in terms of legal justice. Righteousness simply means so that we are in right relationship with God, with our fellow men, and with ourselves. All that we have, all that we are, we all depend on God alone. Our life, our health, our success is not just the work of our hands. The success in life is also the work of God. But most of all, to be in right relationship with God gives us peace of mind, a clear conscience. All of us, we are sinners, and we are aware of that. We need to move on in life when we fail in relationships, in living the Christian life. That is why to be in right relationship with God is important for us to find peace in our hearts. And God is always assuring us, especially as we begin this new year, that the past has been forgotten. We can begin life anew. We don't have to dwell on our past. We don't have to live on our past. New year is always a time for us to begin anew, that we can change and that there is hope. That is why New Year celebration is a beautiful occasion for us to help us to find hope in life. But this is not the apex of happiness. The apex of happiness is to find the face of God in men. Where can we see the face of God today? If not in our brothers and sisters, where can people see the face of God today? If not through us. That is why Jesus is the incarnation of God. Jesus shows us the face of his Father and the face of all his children because he identifies with each one of us. And so happiness really means that we are also in right relationship with our brothers and sisters, with our fellow men, especially those who are suffering. Because when you start reaching out personally, 
and bring joy to others, that joy no amount of money can buy. But my dear brothers and sisters, I think for me the most important point today is don't mistake Chinese New Year for Christmas. Christmas, the emphasis is on reaching up to the poor. Chinese New Year, not to say we exclude the poor, but for Chinese New Year, if you were to ask me what is the most important celebration in Chinese New Year, what is the greatest joy? It is bonding, reunion dinners, being with our brothers and sisters, being with our family members, with our loved ones, with our colleagues, business partners. We often tend to talk business most of the time. But Chinese New Year is a time when we let our hair down, when we celebrate, when we enjoy together, when we share together. This is the most meaningful part of Chinese New Year, from my perspective. At the end of the day, it's the company. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to let your face be seen by these people whom you reach out to during this Chinese New Year. Bring them joy, bring them hope, bring them comfort. Most of all, bring them your presence. Your presence is the biggest ang pao, honestly. Your presence, your time. And this is what we are called to do. Show the face of God to one another.